What's going on YouTube? Firespin Gaming here with Eric, E-Rock. We're finally doing a game room tour. It's 2021, it's been four years, so I'm finally doing it for you guys. Why not start the new year up after the shithole of a year we had of 2020? Sit back, relax, and enjoy. As soon as you walk into my room, you'll see this very beautiful photo of my favorite pretty guardian, Sailor Moon. Yes, I'm a Sailor Moon fan. <laughs> then you come over to my favorite collection that I have. That is my Sega Genesis collection. Um, my goal is to eventually get an entire Sega Genesis collection and PS1, which means most of the stuff, maybe 10 years from now, you won't even see in the room. Ness will be gone, SNES, N64, but I have some pretty good hitters in here so far. Um, I need to get cases for these. These are my loose, more expensive titles, like um, Sunset Riders. Believe it or not, Ghostbusters are actually rare. Not rare, more expensive. Garius is up there. Um, some loose controllers. Keep in mind, all this stuff was found at garage sales in my area, um, sometimes further than my area. Um, it's just stuff that I find, I keep what I need, and I resell the rest. Whether it's lots on Facebook, or this year was eBay due to coronavirus, I sold off 90% of my GameCube collection. I'm down to 19 games now. Made a lot of money. Happy about that. Um, so... I mean, it's a, it's a pretty pretty decent collection I have here. Um, we're currently at, for Sega Genesis, 218 games, and it's climbing. So, I know I need two, two or three of these shelves completely full in order to fit it. So, I don't plan on staying in the house I'm currently in for long. I will be moving and then right below Sega Genesis, those are my loose carts. We have Dreamcast right below that. Which I'm currently at. 59 Dreamcast games. There's a couple in there that are good. Mostly shovelware. Uh, right next to it's the Nintendo Game Boy Graveyard. <laughs> I've yet to get a shelf to put those all on. Below that is one of my favorite finds, the Sega CDX. Um, everything works on it. And below that are two Nomads. So one of those is going to go for sale. And since I had nowhere else to put it, I put my PS4 Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Collector's Edition on the bottom. I wanted to hang the skateboard up for the video, but didn't have time. Now the top shelf... I have my Toys R Us truck I found, along with box systems, Nintendo Switches are up there, Sega Dreamcast, my power pad all the way in the back, so that's pretty much the most useless thing up there. <laughs> now next to the Sega cabinet, we have my Pokemon Tech Deck Shrine. Sorry for Eric's heavy breathing. <laughs> so I got my PSA cards. I just got my Charizards back from um, grading. Pretty happy about that. If you haven't seen that video, check that one out. Below that's just other stuff I found at garage sales. That um, Hot Wheels truck right there. It's my truck from when I was a kid. You'll see some childhood stuff here. Two sealed rocket decks I bought at a yard sale for a dollar a piece. Some more Pokemon stuff. More tech deck stuff, Sonic. And my Pokemon VHS tapes. Woo! 
Then we go to the big guy. One of my favorite things in this entire room, and it takes up most of my room, would be my PlayStation kiosk. Um, I'll fire it up for you guys so you can hear what it sounds like when you actually start it. It's, uh, it's very loud. Feel that bass. Because you know I'm all about that bass. About that bass. <laughs> now continuing on through the room. Um, I paid $350, I believe, for that. Shipped. So it was only like an hour and a half from my house. Very happy. And then behind it, I have from shout out to Brooklyn Game Shack in New York. I have a Final Fantasy VIII display. It's original display from a store, who knows. And above it, I have my Super Nintendo Mario Yoshi Pepsi ad that my wife got me for Christmas last year in 2019. Really like that. It's awesome. I haven't actually showed that on the channel at all. So there's like really no love for that. I feel bad. Now you're wondering what the glow is that's coming off the PS2 Neon. Um, I love my Neon. <laughs> Above that's all my box Sega Genesis. Um, we got the Altered Beast, Sonic 2, Sonic and Knuckles, the Streets of Rage 2, which is completely mint. It's got everything in it. Um, regular Sonic for the first gen Sega Genesis. PS3 and my limited edition Darth Vader PS4, which is actually downstairs. You're going to notice in my game room I don't have all my systems out because when I have people come over, we don't play in here because it's so small. All my systems are actually in my living room in a, uh, a drawer I have down there. Um, that's an empty PS4 box, which I probably should have took down before the video, but there's another empty one behind it because we hooked another PS4 up downstairs. Um, I still don't know what that is. If anyone knows what that is, I'm believing it's like a sock cover for your PS1. I found it at a yard sale. I paid a dollar for it. And then we got my original PS Vita over there. And that came out. Played it twice. <laughs> Back over towards the PS2. You'll notice underneath the neon is the most expensive PS2 video game ever to date so far, Kuan. Um, I picked that up at Brooklyn Game Shack as well. I'm just going to pull it out there. That was a mint copy. Real happy about that. That video actually did okay. Pretty well. Um, that's actually, you're looking at the most expensive game I have in my game room. <laughs> I'd like to have more, but but that's that's that. And at PS2, we're looking at 423 complete games on that shelf. All the way at the bottom right, unfortunately, is stuff that still needs to get added in to it. So I have yet to do that. So there's probably two, four, six, eight, ten. There's probably 300 and. I mean, 430 games down there. You probably get a better view from out here, Eric. You don't have to show them all. It's all shovelware. <laughs> <laughs> shovelware. And then we have my PS1 collection. This is uh, this is the next collection that will be completed. Because, like I said, I'm a PS1. And a Sega Genesis guy. So even if I have to, I will sell my NES, my SNES, and my N64 to get the complete collections for that. Um, the Nintendo I really grew up on was Game Boy and Game Boy Color. So. And then I have... Another room in my house, if you guys have watched my live Instagrams, you've seen it. My old game room, until I came over here. All my PS3 stuff, my PSP stuff still over there. I have no room. I'm already out of room in this room. So, hopefully, Charlie, if you're watching this, one day I'll be able to compete with you when I get my 
my new house and I have a basement. So over here we have the Game Boy stuff, DS, 2DS, um, Animal Crossing pins. Ask me about Animal Crossing. I got those from a GameStop employee. They're pretty cool. I like Animal Crossing. Uh, Square Painter, shout out to Square Painter, painted that. If you don't know Square Painter, check him out at Square Painter. He does art um, on canvas. This is a small piece. He does big ones. Um, it's also pretty cool. My wife picked me up this too, 2019 Christmas season. It's an unused Blockbuster exclusive poster. Um, if anyone knows, I believe you print your team out on the snap kiosk, Eric. I'm not sure, and the stickers go here, apparently, I forget. It's limited edition, limited edition, but it's number 374,048. So real limited right there. <laughs> <laughs> Toys R Us exclusive Game Boy Advanced. Um, I picked that up from my boy Josh at the first convention I sold that. I think I paid 10 bucks for that. <laughs> Childhood Game Boys, me and my brother, my mom found these in the attic really happy to get those those are the most prized possessions i have in this game room if my house would ever catch on fire and i had to get one thing out of here it'd be those two game boys and this rack right here because these are all my childhood games that didn't get sold so my game boy camera my pinball and my armament air combat <laughs> wish i had other stuff but not to catch forward but we'll come over here real quick to my ps1 display this is an original store display. It's got all of the childhood games that I played on the original PS1 when it came out. So you got your Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Nuclear Strike, Air Combat, which eventually became Ace Combat. Believe it or not, the hardest one to find in here was RCD Go. <laughs> Don't know why. It's just, you know, Toomba. I got Toomba, Iron Hander. Sledstorm. Now that Sledstorm is actually my father's original copy of Sledstorm. That's another actual piece from my childhood that is in this game room. He found that in his sock drawer because he didn't want me and my brother to ruin it. <laughs> Hot Shots Golf, Blasto, Rogue Trip, Twisted Metal, <coughs> Tomb Raider, Road Rash, Putter Golf, Jet Moto, Daredevil Derby. I remember opening that game up with my PlayStation 1 when we first got it on Christmas morning. And that's the game we played. I played a crap out of Ape Escape. And that is probably the game I played the most when I was a kid. NBA Live 98 and Rainbow Six. Right below it's a box PlayStation 1 and some other accessories that are boxed. That's just a Nintendo shower power and some covers that I put there to block an outlet that's there. <laughs> no nostalgism there. Uh, so I paid quite a bit of money for that standee at Brooklyn Game Shack. It was actually trade-in, so it was free. Um, I got my box Pikachu Yellow, which I found at a yard sale. So basically, that was free. The Ch Pokemon Red I bought when I started collecting. I paid $30 for that complete. Man, I feel like I'm, like, not myself talking right now. I need to be myself. So, game... When it comes to Game Boy games, we are at 167 total Game Boy games and Game Boy Color. So, got my heavy hitters. Um, got some Pokemon games down there. This one is complete with the Meowth card. My buddy had the sealed Meowth card in his house. I took it from him and put it in there. <laughs> down the lot, we got a box Fire Emblem for the Advanced. Some more Game Boy kids. This is a very unorganized shelf. Game Boy Advance at 96 total games. They're all the way at the bottom. I put everything in box protectors from uh, I think it's boxprotectors.com. Some box systems down there in the bottom. And then we'll we'll just go over to the right while we're down there. Eric. Horrible cameraman. <laughs> DS games, that's my DS collection. Live with it. That's all I got. Um, a lot of that's actually my wife's. Box 3DS, some Nintendo Switch accessories shoved in the bottom. Um, you go up, those are th go up, those are 3DS games. 
I got my FAL 308 sitting there in the corner in case someone tries to come into my house. It's not going to work out for them. <laughs> Nintendo Switch games. A lot of them are from Super Rare. Um, a couple limited run in there. A lot of them i got to play yet. And this is what is left of my GameCube collection. Um, I call it the Great GameCube Purge of 2020. I sold entirely almost everything I had in GameCube and made a crap ton of money because of this pandemic going on in the world. Um, I took advantage of it and I sold it. And I posted out on Instagram, should I do it? And a bunch of other people came out and said, have no regrets. So... I know it's killing you, Eric. I know you want to talk. No regrets. No regrets. Now, NES, um, this is actually one of my most impressive parts of the collection. Um, and it's the system I'm, like, absolutely non-nostalgic for. Crazy. I, I know it's crazy to say, but I have no nostalgism over the Nintendo NES. It's like the exact opposite. For me. 325 games, mostly boxed. <laughs> Every box game you see there has its game, its manual. They're all 100% complete, except for one, and that's Wampum. That is an empty box. No manual or card. I think the best one I have there is King Neptune's Adventure. Um, that was a Facebook Marketplace find. And a lot of these, I've had a couple people, uh, Silver Fox Gaming... She's a good friend. She's come over here and she's looked at this stuff. A lot of, I mean, most of it's mint. I mean, Eric will even say it. I mean, you got some games that have some creases in them, but what would you say? 80% of it's mint? Yeah, easily. Yeah. Um, Gun Nax up there. Is that a sealed Mega Man 6? No. It just still has its wrapper around it. Um, at the top of the shelf, you got a box zapper, Super NES control deck. My Fortnite llama. I don't play Fortnite anymore. I did because I had a cool group of guys. That's an awesome piece. That's Mega Man X2 boxed. It looks sealed, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> My Pikachu. Um... Now we're going to come over here and do the uh, Nintendo. Um, well, we're already in the Nintendo corner, but that's my Nintendo Neon. You go back there. I'll, I'll stand in the video for once. Everyone can look at my big fat gut. <laughs> so N64 box. Were it. I, I, I wish I knew this all in my head. 161 total games. Um, a couple of them are sealed. Perfect Dark sealed. Um, I don't know what the other ones are, but a couple are sealed. I should probably send them out to WADA, but I really don't care for that. Um, got boxed upon Atomic Purple controller. Loose carts. I have the ends labels for them, but I'm waiting until I get, you know, minty copies of the games. And then I'll put them on there for the collection. Then I got Box Conquerors Bad Fur Day. Game and Watch is sitting there on the shelf. Then we go down to probably my most popular video I have, the $2.50 Earthbound. That's if you average down the cost I paid for all the games. Um, some box SNES. I, I do have some pretty decent SNES stuff. But once again, like I said, I'm, I'm not nostalgic for the SNES. I'm more nostalgic for the N64 than the SNES. Um... My one friend had a SNES growing up, but it wasn't really my piece of pie. But you got boxed and then loose right below it. There's not much more there. Um, that's a retailed Sega Saturn with the CD attached to it. I mean, wow, Sega Genesis with the CD attachment to it. It's a retail case. Um, everything's in there. It's pretty cool. Then if you go all the way to the top, of the room you'll see systems super nes super nintendo i don't even know why i said that control deck uh, box virtual boy with the two games i had for it boxed um then we got the challenge set with the challenge set super mario brothers 3 there my sailor guardians they you know toads up there too next to the deluxe set 
NES Max controller. Um, box Super N64. Wow, box Nintendo 64. Guys, I don't have a script. I'm just winging this. I know a lot of more professional YouTubers would have like a script, music plan. Well, unfortunately, I'm no retro Rick. That guy knows how to edit videos. He's amazing. I don't know how he does it, but props out to him. I should send him all this and have him do it for me, and I'll throw him 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the most, I don't know. I think the deluxe set might beat it. But that's a, that's a very expensive event 64 right there. Um, I paid 30 bucks for that at my first yard sale ever. So that's like one of my other little prize possessions. Picked that up at a flea market. We got the Final Fantasy poster. Then we go over to my closet in the room. That just holds, uh, you know, bigger box stuff that kind of fit on the shelf. You got your action sets, some PS4 bundles in there, the Atomic Purple controller and 64 bundle, my guitars. If you look back here, I got like three electric guitars shoved in the corner. <laughs> then we got two Coleco. They work. I think the one has batteries in it. Pick those up, yard sound with you, Eric. Yep. Hopefully it keeps coming up with this. Um, we got my Samsung. This is uh, Mega Base. Um, I used to have a Trinitron. It did not fit in here. So I went with the Samsung. I love that TV. Probably should have put something on there. But we got a box PS1. Box PS2, another box PS2, the Gran Turismo 3 A Spec PS2 box, and another PS4. Right below that's my Pocket Monsters uh, clock. Love that clock. Um, that is from Japan. Uh, we got, I forget his name, I think it's Arno. That's the game that ruined Assassin's Creed for me. <laughs> Very horrible game. Um, then we got my little Sega Saturn and CD collection. So that's my box Sega Saturn. Then we got the Sega Saturn games. We're currently at for Sega Saturn 36 games and three Sega Saturn, four Sega Saturn, four Sega CD games, and one of them being the uh, the box of the Enforcers. I don't think that's for CD though. I think that's Genesis. CD. It's for CD. Okay, yeah, I was right. And then you go to my little modern gaming area here, which would be my. 55 inch Sony Bravio TV. Um, it is PS5 capable, which I don't have a PS5 yet. Thanks, collector's luck. Jordan, that's because of you buying them all. <laughs> so you got my my Nintendo Powers down there, Millennium Falcon, Pokemon cards, a Bowie knife. Once again, in case someone decides to come into my room, it would be a real bad day for them. Uh, Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch and one of the coolest displays I have in my room would definitely be this hanger. It's a Sega Genesis Sonic 2 hanger. Um, it just sits here and sways in my room and collects dust. So, real cool piece. I saved that from a video game store um, near me. They, uh, they had it stapled pretty much to the wall. So... Other than that, this is this is the this is the game room. I mean, if Eric wants to go stand in the corner. I can show you a size comparison of how big this room is. So I am gonna go all the way to the corner. Oh, okay, I'm standing in the corner of the PS2 section. So it's really not that big. It's just a bedroom in my house. So normally I have my table where I edit right here in the center of the room with a chair. But eventually I gotta get a carpet in here and bring my DX racer that's sitting in my other room. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this game room video. Um, I'm gonna try to do more stuff in here, like, you know, collection videos. Like I'll, I'll go through certain collections that I have. Um, if I missed any other games that I have, um, I don't think I did. So I want to give a couple shout outs, uh, one to, um, Collector's Luck, Jordan, me, I've been talking, he's a very cool dude, Retro Rick, for, uh, showing the power of how I can't edit, uh, CJR, CJR has been there with me for a while, um, 
Gamer Alley. Unfortunately, Matt likes to change his channel name every five days, so I don't even know what his handle is now. <laughs> what is it? You can say it. Well, yeah, I'm going to say him. <laughs> and probably the biggest shout-outs to Bithead1000, because he's the fucking man. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, oh, did you get the wave bird? I got a sealed wave bird back there. I paid 20 bucks for that. And she wanted to ship it to me. When she lived 10 miles from me. And I was like, yeah, no, no, that's not going to happen. So... All right, we're going to the bar. We're going to get extremely intoxicated, and I'm going to try to edit this video afterwards. So I got to be unprofessional sometimes. Till next time, guys. Happy hunting. And tell me what your favorite part of the game room is. It's probably when the video ended. So happy hunting. <laughs>